probability with replacement independent events you will find this on page 645 in the namibia ordinary level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success with replacement independent events now what does it mean with replacement so imagine you have a bag of balls okay so if there's say just three balls and if you take out one you are before you take out the second one you are first replacing that one so the amount of balls in the bag stays the same okay let's look at an example a bag contains 12 balls five are red and the remainder are blue Two balls are drawn at random with replacement. Find the probability that both are red. So first your tree, it's red and it's blue. This is the second time they take out a ball. So it's the second event. Red, blue, red, blue. How many red ones are there? Five out of 12. How many blue ones are there? The rest. 7 out of 12. Because can you remember? This must add up to 1. If you say 7 plus 5, it will be 12 over 12, which will give you an answer of 1. Now, if it is with replacement, then basically this stays the same. This stays the same. And it's actually whatever stands there is just repeated there. Okay, so find the probability that both are red. So let's just find that road. So it's going to be red, red. So what do I do? I say 5 over 12, multiply 5 over 12, and that's going to be 25 over 144. Okay. At least one is blue. Okay, let's just find that route. So it means one is red and the other one is blue. Okay, or it can be, uh, remember one is blue, or it can be blue, red. But at least also means both of them can be blue. So it can be blue, blue. So can you see, it's basically going to be, if you look, it's going to be this one, this one, and this one. But can you see, if you take all four of these branches, remember, you must always get a certainty of one. So there's actually two ways of doing it. You can either, either, like I showed you, method one, you can take all the red branches. Remember, what do we do in the branches? We multiply. So it's 5 over 12 multiplies 7 over 12. 7 over 12 multiply 5 over 12. Or the last one, 7 over 12 multiplies 7 over 12, as you will see it there. Okay, so that will be then my answer. Or that is the one way. Just work out the individual branches, multiply in them, and then add it up. Or just take the certainty, remember, if I go, can I just show you? If I add this one, add this one, add this one, I will get one. So it's basically just take the one and subtract the yellow one. And what was the yellow one? It was the answer we got in A. So if you subtract that 25 over 144, you will get an answer of 119 over 144. Exactly the same. Can you see it there? Okay. Let's go on. Stop the video and do try now 14, number 1. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. It's number 1. Let's get my pen correct. A bag contains seven counters. Three are black and the remainder are green. Two counters are drawn at random. Okay, now it's just two options, so we're just going to have the two options. Okay, and it's not just one draw, it's going to be two draws. So this one splits again. Okay, and now we're going to look at what is the color. 
after it's going to be free of black so it's every time going to be black and the remainder are green so if you put black there then green at the bottom black on top green at the bottom and now you're just going to write it in okay now three are black so three out of how many out of seven so what is green it's going to be the remainder and what will that be four out of seven because remember it must add up to one so seven over seven minus three over seven will be four out of seven and because the ball or the counter is replaced it will stay three out of seven three out of seven four out of seven four out of seven okay and now we will start the question so uh, find the probability, number A, that both are green. So the probability, let's say, both green. And that is going to be, let's just find that branch. So both are green. It's going to be green, green. Can you see that? So basically, it's going to be, let's just go back to my pen. It's going to be 4 out of 7 multiply 4 out of 7 and that's going to be 16 over 49. Okay, and then number B, at least one is black. Now be careful, it can be, let's just, let's just mark the roads again. Um, let's rather take red. So it's at least one is black, but it can be black black because then both is black at least means either two or one or it can just be that one black or it can just be this black so can you see it's again this three but the way we can do it and it's actually the easiest way and I'm, I'm going to just do the easiest way because spare your time in the exams and do the easiest way so if we say at least one is black at least one is black. Can you remember? We're just going to say a whole tree is always a certainty. So it's a certainty minus this one. This one is excluded. So it's basically just one minus 16 over 49. And my final answer will be 33 over 49. Can you remember you will get the same answer if you multiply this, multiply this, multiply this, and then add the three branches. You will exactly get also 33 over 49.